let's do a project where we might use an if, elif, else structure. And here's our problem. Dr. Brown needs a Python program to calculate the body mass index, or BMI, of a patient and show their classification as underweight, healthy, overweight, or obese. So what will we need to be able to write that program for Dr. Brown? Well, one, we need to know the formula for calculating BMI. And two, we need to know what are the various classifications. How do we calculate or place a person in one of those classifications as far as underweight, healthy, overweight, or obese? Now, you may know what those are. Chances are, unless you're a biology major, you probably don't. Or unless you're a physician, you probably don't. So we need what's called a subject matter expert who can give us this information for calculating the BMI and what those classifications are. Now that might be Dr. Brown, our client. It might be a nutritionist friend that we know. A lot of times today we can just go to the internet and look things up. So I did an internet search for body mass index. And one thing to be aware of when you're searching the internet, there's a lot of false information out there. So make sure you're using a source that's reputable. I'm going to assume the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one of the health sites out there, is correct in how we calculate the body mass index. So I did a search for BMI, went to their site, and they have a question here, how do I interpret body mass index? And so we want to do the body mass index for adults. So I can click on that and, it, and find information. And here's one, how is BMI calculated? So I'm going to look at that. So here's my formula. It's the weight in kilograms divided by the height in meters squared. I'm going to come back to my notes and put a note here. The formula is the weight in kilograms divided by the height in meters squared. Now the problem is, here in America, we don't tend to work with metric measurements. We tend to work with English measurements. And so we want to take this weight in pounds and convert it to kilograms. And then we want to convert our inches into meters. So once again, I need a formula for being able to do that. I can do a Google search on converting pounds to kilograms. And I'm told here that one pound equals 0 0.453592 kilograms. Or I can take the mass in terms of pounds and divide by 2.205. So I'm going to copy that and go back to my notes. So I put a note here that can, to convert pounds to kilograms, I want to divide the mass by 2.205. Now I need to convert inches, our height measurement, into meters. Again, I'm going to go back to the internet. And I'm going to search for convert inches to meters. And I'm told that one inch equals 0 0.025 meters, or I can take the length, in our case it's going to be the height, and divide that by 39.37. So again, I'm going to take note of that. So I create a note here of converting inches to meters, divide the height by 39.37. So my new formula is the weight in pounds divided by 2.205, and I'm going to divide that measurement, which is now the kilograms, by the height in inches divided by 39.37, that whole measurement squared. That should give me a BMI number. Now I need to take that BMI number and figure out what the classifications are. So I'm going to go back to the internet and find those classifications. I'm back on the CDC site. I'm going to click this link for how is BMI interpreted for adults. And here then are my classifications. If it's below 18.5, they're underweight. 18.5 to 24.9, normal or healthy weight, 25 to 29.9, overweight, and 30 and above is obese. So I take note of my BMI classifications, and now I can use all this information in writing my Python program. And I'll put a comment here, a BMI calculator. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So we'll save this as... I'm going to save this into my Python folder. I'm going to name this uh, O2, since we're in Unit 2, BMI Calculator. I didn't think you needed to see me type all this in, so I added a comment of myself as the developer, and then created a print statement that basically just tells the user what this program is going to do. We're going to get the input in terms of height and weight by inches and pounds, 
calculate the BMI and display that in the BMI classification. So the first thing we need to do is get the height and the weight. We'll create two variables here, height equals, and um, we'll go ahead and use a float value in case they put in 70.5 inches. Uh, so we'll take the input, we're gonna say enter height in inches. I need two closing prints since I have two left. So we'll take that value they input as a string, convert it to a float, and assign it to our variable height. I'm gonna do the same thing for weight. And again, we'll go ahead and use float as our data type. And we'll have them enter the weight in pounds. So now I'm gonna calculate the BMI. And we said our formula was to take the weight and divide that by 2.205. And I'm gonna use parentheses here because I want that to happen first. And I'm gonna divide that by the height divided by 39.37, that's gonna give me a meters. But I wanna take that value and square it. So we use two asterisks for a square. I'm just gonna add another parenthesis here. So we're grouping all that together just to make sure that all happens first. That's gonna give us our BMI. Now let's just print the BMI and we can check it at this point. I'm gonna save my document and I'm gonna run. 72 inches in height, we'll say six feet, and their BMI is 200. I get 27.11. Now I might wanna convert this down to just two decimal places, or maybe just one decimal place, It'd be sufficient. But that, from what I've read about BMIs, that is in the ballpark. I don't know if that's the correct result, but it's probably pretty close. We could go out and find a chart on the internet that will allow us to verify that this is basically the BMI for somebody at six feet tall and 200 pounds. All right, let's change our output a little bit. I want this to be a string, BMI equals plus, and we'll do format the value of BMI, and I wanna format that as one decimal place. And for every left print, I need a right print, so I need two double prints there. I'm going to save this and run it. So once again, I'm asked for measurement in of height in inches, 72. We'll say 200 pounds. Actually, let's prop this down. If I say 190, we should get a, a lower BMI. And I'm told 25.8. It's writing that off to just one decimal. That's the output I want. Now I need to add to that the classification of are they underweight, healthy, overweight, or obese. So let's go back to our program. So I'll have a little comment here of show calculations. Good idea to put comments in your code. If BMI is less than 18.5. We will print out the classification equals underweight. And then we'll do an ELIF. And here I'm gonna say if BMI is less than or equal to 24.9, and we will print out classification equals, that's a 
uppercase this, healthy weight. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, if, what does it say it's 18? This is going to be true and this is going to be true. But again, if this is true, this is ignored. So it doesn't matter that both of them are true. The first one that's true is the only one that's, that's going to take place. So now we're going to say BMI is less than or equal to, let's just say less than 30. Because 30 and above is going to be obese. And we'll print. Classification equals overweight. And then we can just do an else because it's going to be above 30. And our else in this case is we're going to print out. Classification equals obese. I don't need that quote in there. And that will be the end of our program. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to run. So before we did 72 and 190, we've got 25.8, which would be overweight by our classification standards. Let's just run this again, see if we get that. 72, 190, and we're told BMI is 25.8 and the patient is overweight. Well, let's try this again. Again, I'm gonna do 72. Let's say they lost some weight and they are now 175. BMI is 23.7 and they're in the healthy weight range. Now in testing this, we probably want to do a whole bunch of these and make sure that everything gets close to maybe 18.5 and make sure that's working. As close as 25, just below and just above, make sure those are classifying correctly and do the same for the others. Let me run it one more time. And let's say they gained a lot of weight. Let's say they're now 250 pounds at 72 inches. Now their BMI is 33.9 and they're obese. So it seems to be working. Again, you'd want to test this a whole bunch more times. You might want to find a chart online of, of a height and what the uh, BMIs and classifications are for different weights and just test against that. But I'm going to say right now, this program seems to be working and you've seen how we've used an if, elif, else structure in providing four different forks for the classification output.